Let's just see if there's anything good with my name in it. Probably not, but you never know. I don't recall if I played this. I still can't beat this challenge. It was made so long ago. So long ago, I don't even remember what's changed since then, but considering it's beatable this update, let's try. Round 265 with one life only. Somehow we got to... Well, isn't it Legend of the Night? Well, I probably can't afford Legend of the Night. I can afford a Legend of the Night, so why won't I die here? Considering it's 5% ability cooldown. I guess 5% ability cooldown doesn't give you enough. What if I did this and this? There's no way this is worth 16% if this works. I refuse. 16% guys, if people didn't know this. Well, no balance change made this any, any more difficult nowadays. Beat this ISAB. Sure, let's just give it a shot. And already I can see it's an all camo challenge. Find the camo tower. I see. I'm just gonna give a quick skim. I see a raider scanner. So what? what's the catch really? Well, you, it's only one tower, right? Okay. So think. Sentry gun. Sentry. Sell the sentry. Camo village GG. And there it is. We beat it. I'm gonna say first try on that. Gotta fight something tougher than that. Did I play this before? ISAB can't beat this. It's only a 14% win rate. 6 wins in 500 attempts. Guess I rounded up from 447. It's a Moab in round 40. Max HP, almost max speed. The key thing here is I can sell. I think it feels like it has something to do with the first strike. Because that's in a one shot. Or the boat. Either of those two work. First off, let me see if I get the striker ability off with the max speed of the Moab. I do. So it... It's not just as simple as hooking it in. I don't think it comes up in time. Oh, there's knockback. Knockback super monkey. That buys us time. But that's too expensive. Look. Down at 3k. See, if I buy all these, I am $3,000 short. What happens if I buy this and this? Okay. Hmm. It's not going to work either. Because I was thinking if I could sell this for the 001 super monkey. But I still don't have money for that. See? Hmm, I guess Mob Glue is cheaper than a 001. Unfortunately, even if I buy this, I don't have enough for Mob Glue. It's too expensive. Well, it could be this. Gotta be really fast. This? Yep, I can afford it all. This might do it, but the thing is, it might require faster reflexes in order to get the pirate hook in up in time. That's still four seconds off, though. Four whole seconds. Well, I could save time by pre-buying the boat. That might save me one second, but... That don't get me anywhere, right? And... This time... Nope. Oh, wait, I can buy or sell the striker ability twice. If the money's there, let me just do some quick... Well, math. So we're just hypothetically seeing if we can afford it. So I would get striker 3, I'd sell it. Rebuy it. Yep, zero dollars, that's the answer, guys. Oh, and I can do this too. I can start with Striker level 3. Like all these towers. Sell this, get this. And that will be the answer to the challenge, the 14%er. Yep, there's plenty of layaway too. I took my time buying up Striker. Okay, not not quite, not quite. I have to be even faster with the uh, buying the boat immediately. Again. That had to be pretty fast. And a moment of truth. Easy. Nice and quick challenge. We always don't mind those. But we definitely mind it when the uh, title is incorrect. I feel like this title, this challenge title is an attack. Iceb is a noob. He will never beat this. It hasn't been played very much. But I'm willing to give it a shot because it's uh, a, a, a unique round. 151 with a million dollars. And the ability cooldown rate is 500%, so we can't just Legend Knight cheese. Two towers max. Let me first try the following. I am going to perma stun everything by doing this, selling Geraldo, and then doing Legend of the Night play. So the point of the the, the balloon crush is to perma stall everything. I should probably move this to reach to you to detect to actually damage stuff. But the thinking is that oh the portal already activated. Is it the balloons that are hyper fast? I would assume so. How did I leak early? Yeah, they're really fast. So let me take a look at the exact stats of this challenge. Uh, yep, max balloon speed. Let me just try the following. Uh, I have Sarbama. I just bought Travaldo in case I need a redo potion. 
But let's say I do this. Oh, one Star Bomber doesn't beat it. I see. And I believe there's more damage than Star Bomber, right? Well, definitely. Uh, I just have to see if it covers the entire radius. Now let me just hope I'm not spending all my money doing this. Oh, it doesn't work. One does not do it. How about two? Second one right now. Oh, two doesn't beat it. Three? There, three beat it. This is going to lose a lot of money. And from what I can tell here is this is this is not worth doing. Just to beat these DTs. Let me just see if I can tank everything with one Legend of Night. Because DTs, like, they exit pretty quickly, right? So in theory, I beat all this and then just mobs here. Just mobs I can use probably two or three anti balloons. Watch this. Two. Three. Four. Is it gone? Nope. Five. Six. Nice. That was clutch. That was clutch. Okay. Do I have Pirate Lord? I do. Yeah, do we just Pirate Lord everything? Uh, sure. We'll try. We're not gonna pop them, that's for sure. As for what I'm doing to the bads, I'm thinking... Oh, wait. I can... Yeah, I have a lot of money. I can just buy Rosal constantly. As I was saying, I was thinking... Maybe if the bads are close enough, the Legend cooldown will come back up. So I can tank both of them at the same time. Therefore, I don't have to deal with the HP of the bad in the first place, although... Maybe if this is slow, we can actually brute force it. And last one. I... Judging by how slow they are, I don't think one Legend can eat up both of them. Oh wait, Regent Potion, Regent Potion. Does that work? I swear it does. That would be lovely if it did. So, waiting, waiting. Please activate again. Or has it not been three minutes? Hurry up. It wasn't three minutes yet, that's crazy. So I have to still beat the other ones. Once again, we are just going to brute force everything. We love brute forcing up in here. Just hopefully I don't run out of money. With all this. Another one. Another one. These DTs are tanky as hell, man. How many uh, anti-blues is this? Like, 10? 11? 11 it takes, okay. And now... Pirate Lord. With plenty of money to spare. Moment of truth. Uh, I can also afford. Redo if I really need to. But this time I didn't use it, so surely it should work, right? Waiting, waiting. Portal. Rejuve just in case. But I still think that's under in between 12 seconds. And done. Now, this is not an invitation to make challenges with titles like these in an effort for me to play them. It works just this one time, though. Just this one time. Very easy challenge. Okay, Gabriel requested this challenge. It's no one played it, sadly, but uh, I'll play it for you. Time and space, we have a 2 is 1 4 sniper and a village on run 45 and 46. All camp grow. Let me just try 014. 4. No. Let me just try this then. 2 1 0 on strong. We can probably tank a good amount of lives. I don't know if we can tank all of it though. Let me just see. I can I cannot sell. So I was contemplating going for 014. 4. Oh, I know. Surely it can't just be as simple as grow locking every part of the track. Although chances are that might be what's going on. I'll buy radius on this thing. I think we have to cover every single spot though. That didn't seem that didn't seem very viable. I'm just theorizing the following. Um, I currently have four villages and a sniper. I'm thinking, what if I don't buy the sniper immediately? Because I don't think four villages can possibly cover. All the lanes of this map. What I mean is, don't buy this till it gets in grow blocker range like this, and then put on strong. And everything I pop won't be popped before the regrow comes in. And I'll only leak up to blues, because there's not enough time. So in theory, that sounds better. I might need semi-auto, though. So maybe I'll get rid of one village to get that. And it looks like I do need two, two, three, right? Yep. I gotta keep it in a very small range if I want this to work. So back on first, if it gets too close to the exit. It's actually kind of clever if this is what I'm supposed to do. Don't shoot them too early. That's good, that's good. Back on strong now because it one-shots. Anything not a rainbow, and that's a lot of lives. Maybe I could even just go full auto? I don't know, but it's a possibility. Okay, and leads are also one-shottable. 300 lives. What happens is Saram's this round? 
Oh yeah, that's a problem. What do I do? Because I can't... I can't disable my sniper. What if I leave it on first? Uh, first is good. First is good. Except for it... The second ceramic. I kind of have an idea what's going on here. It might have to do with the shifting of the, the small gear. If I put the sniper here... Although, I obviously don't have enough lives, but I was thinking... What if I just tank all the F-Cerams this round? But I think there's too many of them. I would need, like, 700 lives. As you see, anytime I attack the Ceram at all this round, it's just gonna create a rigor farm. Like, here's what I'm talking about. If I put this village here, it'll be out of range of the Sniper, so I'll, it'll lose camo. And then I can just buy Raider Scanner. Uh, hang on. Let's wait for the absolute last minute. Like, now? Back on first. Oh, I can't see with this damn panel in the way. That's bad. Just again, try to thread the needle for where the rainbows pop. Back on strong. Jungle drums. It's a good try, but no cigar. I don't think 407. Wait, it is gone now, as you see. Uh, I probably double check how many ceramics are in this round, but I can only take three of them. One, two, three, and there are at six. Don't know how I can take more balloons on 45. The only way would be 204. That's too expensive, though. I can't actually afford a grow blocker here and this. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking carefully. There is a small frame where green shows up, but there's no way to get bigger grow blocker radius over the village unless you go for a monkey city. But obviously the money isn't there. So I'm not sure what's up. If we can somehow get those greens to be only reds or blues, then we would be at, I don't know, 600 lives? Maybe That, that still wouldn't make us win, but... It would certainly be closer. Let me try the following instead. 014 Sniper. What is this turned into? Yellows. Am I saving more lives doing this? I want to say I am, but let me just fast forward and see. I am. 500, but that's still not a huge leap. It's an improvement. This would lose me lives on 46, though. Because... It shooting so fast will mess up the Srams. And also, can't pop lead. So I'm not sure. See? Even 014 creates a farm. Well, alternatively, we could literally just do nothing. Like, don't buy any girl blocker villages. Just leave those on first. I just want to see what happens. If I do this now, for example. Um... Leaving on first. That's it. As simple as that. And making sure the we pop at least the rainbow to red before it leaks. Uh, I think it's too unreliable, though. Yeah, same amount of lives, if not worse. We have a 2 zero for coming into this round now, but it does nothing. It's the same results. Hang on, if I'm trying this method of just brute forcing 46 with a grow blocker, I should just put a village here so it rotates over everything next round. And let me upgrade again, like that. Once again, same amount of lives, 416, something like that. And now let's try every possible permutation this round. Starting with this on first. There's just not enough grow blocker time, sadly, so I don't know. Like, I can get this two one one zeros, but this is still I think too much coverage. I'll try though. So uh, the thing is it falls behind. If, is there any way I can't disable this, sadly. I'm thinking it might be uh, just a mix of targeting though, just to be this round, which would be kind of annoying, but uh well we'll again we'll brute force it. The villages this time have a much larger coverage. Just doesn't hit a bit at the entrance. Let me tell you strong targeting. Um, wait, low-key strong is not bad. But there's too many little balloons that regrow. Okay, let's brute force by doing first, and then strong. Wait, now. Hmm, do you see sometimes we get zebras occasionally? If I get zebras and then nothing, then that works flawlessly. It just doesn't reach the entrance. Hmm... Uh, wait, wait, I did it. I did it by chance. Basically because the first balloon I popped immediately, it regrowed into a bunch of reds. So it took many shots to be bad. But every SRAM afterward, I popped in the range of these things. So it only took two shots to kill. Or rather, five shots. You know, SRAM into four zebras. And, well, that's, that's a solution, I guess.